Hey YouTube, it's GV Lone Guy. It is October 23rd, 2011, and I haven't made a video in a while, but something caught my attention. Let me, let me take that back. I've put out a lot of videos lately, but most of them have been videos that I've just produced or edited, much with my political side lately. Kind of took my vision from the heavens down to the earth for a minute to take a peek at what's going on around us and all this stuff. So anyway, I don't want to get back to that right now. But something caught my attention with uh, all the recent earthquake activity and the in the larger earthquakes, the, the high sixes and the, and sevens. So I thought I would check just to see what was going on with the alignment and all that stuff. I've kind of been thinking about what originally got me started thinking about all this was the Mayan calendar and the, the December 21st, 2012 date and predictions of end world. What does all that mean? Anyway, uh, kind of ended up discovering that, uh, I guess a Dr. Carl Kalman made an adjustment to that date, bringing it up to October 28th of this year. And he's got quite an elaborate, uh, he said, point to this point. Anyway, if this is really the case, then we're five days away from having a pretty major enlightenment, I guess, on a global wide status. So anyway, I just wanted to check and see what was going on over here with the alignments. Uh, something, somebody mentioned uh, Jupiter, so I thought I'd check and see what the alignments were like with Jupiter and so on, where we are and so on. I'm just going to kind of go through that here, see if I can get, bring this around here so we can get a look at it here on the, on the straight line shot. Today's October 23rd, so here we are. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit on this. Try to get this over here. All right, so here's the line of the sun. Here's the Earth. Jupiter right out here. And today's date. I just started clicking through this, and I noticed that, see if I can get this a little bit bigger here, I notice that as we approach October 28th here, I'm going to click through a couple days, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, oh, I'm not quite on here, but it's hard to get it at this zoom. There it is. Look, here's a, here's a pretty significant alignment with the Earth, right? is in the middle between the Sun and Jupiter. So here's where, let me back it up to where we are today. Here's 23rd. Here we are, 23rd. We're getting, we're approaching, see, we're, we're approaching this alignment right now. And uh, even the last couple days, back it up here, 21st, this is when we started getting these big 7.2, 7.4. So here we are today, October 23rd. We're coming in here now to, here's the 24th. 25th, you know, we're moving in, 26th, 27th, boom, 28th, so, I don't know, I don't know what any of that means, I just know that we're having some big earthquakes right now, they pretty much started around the 20, uh, well, we had a couple back here, but the, the sevens, and one back here too. So this is the last big seven, September 15th. Since then, we haven't really had any sevens up till now. October 21st. There's another one on the 23rd. As we approach. So, we're coming up on this date. If that's the case, this is the calendar here. We are at, uh, where are we, 23rd right here? Sunday. Sunday the 23rd. 
right here, if you draw a line here, this is where we are. Right here. This right here, on the 28th, Friday, this coming up Friday, the 28th, right here. This is the end of all the seven days. All the levels. So, should be an interesting day, Friday the 28th, coming up. I'm just saying.